what's up everyone and welcome to my review for Old Boy, which of course is a sequel to Old Dogs with John Travolta and Robin Williams that came out a few years ago. Remember that movie? It had uh, stereotypes, uh, some Asian ones, uh, it had fart jokes, it had poop jokes, it had, uh, I think there was some uh, p uh, penis jokes, I think, uh, some ding dong jokes. Uh, and it was just an all-around funny movie. It was really good. It was very classy. Uh, the performances, Oscar caliber. It was so good. I think that actually won Best Movie of that year. So when I heard there was going to be a sequel coming out with Josh Brolin where he's actually going to like beat people to death with a hammer, I was really looking forward to it because that's exactly what I wanted to do to myself when I saw Old Dogs because it was so great. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. This is not a sequel to Old Dogs, even though I wish it was. Uh, this is a sequel, I mean, I'm sorry, this is a remake of a 2003 cult classic, I think. Maybe even just regular classic, I'm not really sure. But a classic, nonetheless, uh, of a Korean film called Old Boy. It came out 10 years ago, and this movie has been in development hell for years. First, I think Steven Spielberg was going to make it, but now Spike Lee's making it, and first Will Smith was going to be in it, now Josh Brolin's going to be in it. Well, he, he is in it. So, what did I think of the remake of the 2003 classic, I'll just say classic, because a lot of people love it. Uh, what did I think of it? Well, let's talk about the story. Now, the story for Old Boy follows Josh Brolin's character, Joe Doucette, I think that's his last name. Uh, Joe Doucette, who is a advertising... I'm not really sure. He he works in advertising, and he's a douchebag. I mean, he's a drunk, alcoholic asshole, and he's just a complete prick. And out of nowhere, someone comes up and pretty much abducts him and throws him into a room where he will spend his time for 20 years. He will be in the same exact room that looks like a motel room or a hotel room for 20 years. So he stays in there for 20 years. He starts losing his mind. He actually starts, like, exercising and stuff. And after 20 years, he actually gets free, someone just sends him out, you know, into the open, and he has to go and look for the person who abducted him, put him in this room, and why? Why did he do it? So, that's really the story. I don't really like to explain stories too much anymore, but there you go, that's the story. Now, I did have the opportunity of seeing the original movie, but I watched it after I saw this remake, so... It felt a little weird watching the old one after the new one. I should have, you know, did it the obvious way. The old one, then the new one. It felt a little weird, but I thought the original was fantastic. It really was a damn good crime thriller. Very weird, very violent, but really well acted. Just great. This new one, now, it follows a very similar structure. Now, there are different situations in this film, but for the most part, the outcomes are always the same. Here's an example. In the original, they go to a school to get a yearbook. No spoilers, just saying that. I'm not gonna spoil it. You have to see the movie to understand why they're getting it. In the remake, they go somewhere else to get a, a yearbook, but it's not a school. But the outcome is exactly the same. It's, it's pretty much exactly the same. So even though there's different situations in the remake, for the most part, it comes out to you know, be the same outcome. Now, the ending in the remake is different than the original. And I mean the ending, the exact ending. Not the twist, not the last 20 minutes. The ending itself is definitely different. But for the most part, it follows the same structure, follows the same beats for the most part. It's, you know, it, it's very similar. And that's not to say this movie is bad, because it definitely isn't. It's just very similar. But Spike Lee does a damn good job of taking a lot of the scenes that were in the original and putting them in here, changing them up, or keeping them the same. And there's one scene in here that is from the original where the main character has a hammer, which, of course, if you've seen the original Old Boy, or at least heard of it, you know that a hammer is a big part of the movie. And he just wipes out a, a whole hallway of gang members with his freaking a hammer and in the original that was really good it was one long tracking shot and it was freaking great it was so realistic how they did it in this movie it's a little bit less realistic but it's still very well done it, i'm pretty sure it was just one shot in this film as well so it was really well done uh the acting is great here i think josh brolin gives it his all in this film at first he's a douchebag uh there's a lot of really funny moments with his character but then you actually start feeling bad for him because he's like repenting for all of his sins uh and then when he gets out you kind of you, you you kind of root for him. I, I I was rooting for him. I'm not I'm not the best person in the world, so maybe you know a, a nice person like you you that are, that's watching this video wouldn't really root for him as much as I did. But you know what? I just wanted him to get some revenge because 20 years of incarceration and all the stuff that happened in between. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, he was a dick, but he didn't deserve all of that. So. 
he has to go get revenge, and I thought he did a great job of portraying that. Also, he's a badass in this film. That whole hammer scene, really well done. And you could tell it was actually him in the movie, too. It wasn't like a stunt double. He did great. I loved him. Elizabeth Olsen, I love her, too. I haven't seen her in too many movies yet. I, I want to see her in more. She gets nude in this. That's nice. But she is actually really good. She plays a very damaged woman very well in this. Uh, Charlotte Toe Copley plays a character in this film, which I will say, he definitely hams it up. But to be honest, every time I saw him on screen, I was just happy he was in it. I was really, really looking forward to seeing what he would do in this film. And even though he was very corny at times, very hammy, I really liked him. I, I don't know. I, I didn't love him, but I liked him in this film. I did. Uh, everybody else did a great job as well. Michael Imperioli. Uh, everybody. It, it, it's a really good, well-acted film with some really memorable scenes. Now, sure, a lot of them are from the original film, but Spike Lee does a damn good job of recreating them without making them feel exactly the same. So overall, I really like the remake. Even though the original definitely did it better, I would say this film does some things just as good. Like the ending, the twist itself, I thought they presented that very well in this film. Maybe it's because it was so surprising when I saw it in the remake and then when I saw it in the original it wasn't that surprising because it was exactly the same. But I, th I think the remake did it just as good still. I, I thought they presented that very well. The ending itself I actually like more in the, the new one than in the old one. So, sorry, you can give me hate for that. I don't really care. But uh, I still very, very much enjoyed it. It's very violent. Actually, this movie is way more violent than the original. It's really just like, ooh, just disgusting violence. But it's a very enjoyable film. It's dark, don't get me wrong. But I think you'll still very much enjoy it. Sorry for all the noise in the background. But I'm done with this review anyway. I'm going to give it a 29 out of a 40. I still very much enjoyed Old Boy. There are problems. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. So there you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.